So it's morning time and we're having breakfast. I'm having, he already ate one, so I'm eating, these are not patties, but <laughs> dark uh, loaves of bread. We got my coffee and uh, it's raining today, so we gotta try and figure out what we can do in the rain. But um, yeah, good morning. So going along with the theme, um, they have artistic condoms in the window that are like dipped in different things to make them artistic. And I just want to meet the kind of type of person who would hang this up in their house because although they're creative as all can be, I just find it a little tacky. <laughs> so we found this really, sorry for the shaky video, we found this really cool building um, as we're just kind of exploring, waiting to go on our tour today. Um, we're going to go see Holland in the like, countryside for six hours and then go on a boat tour. So you're in for a good treat, so stay along for the ride. We got the boat tour free. Yeah, we got the boat tour free because he was like, well, I'll give you a discount. And it ended up making it free, which didn't make any sense, but he was just like, this other boat tour is full. So it was really nice. So we're going to go try and figure out where that building is. Allons-y! Okay, so we're going to get this one. What's your name? Tayo Baker. Tayo Baker? Yeah, Baker. Baker, alright. Baker, no, Baker, Baker, Baker. And so he buying this from him for ten euros. Of two holding the hold the chest to go. All right. And it was there for any poor man. Any poor people. Oh, yeah. And the bread was over. Okay. And the other day bring the bread over to the the, 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 uh, the poor people. Okay. So they brought the bread to the poor people. Very cool. Thank you. I feel success. Thank you. You come from London? Thank you. Uh, USA. Oh, uh, USA. That's cool. Yeah. So he sketches it out and then draws yeah. it. And this is the paint. It was very nice meeting you. Yeah. Okay. Good right. day. Good day here. Good day. So we are on the tour bus and we are going to be uh, seeing Holland. So, yeah, we uh, had to wait for the second bus, but we got a nice window seat. So, as I find things out the window that are pretty cool, I'll show you guys. So, we're headed inside the Poland Dam Museum, which is the first town we're at, and it's the only fishing town left north of Amsterdam with five fishing boats. I listened to the tour guide. So apparently up until like 15 years ago, they all used to still dress like in traditional Holland and Dutch, uh, not Dutch, Holland uh, outfits and stuff. But with the advent of the TV becoming more popular, they forgave those, or forgo those outfits. And now they wear jeans and t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So this is like the coolest thing I've seen so far. Some guy a long time ago took cigar ribbons and made the room we're in. All of this, if you zoom in, if you zoom in, are cigar ribbons. The entire room, including a mock kitchen that someone's got lung cancer. That's it. <laughs> the roof. In case you thought, maybe not. Everything. This is so cool. So we're walking by all these houses, and every time you look in, I don't know if you can tell, it looks like everyone's living in like a pottery barn house. Like they have the plants, and it's so nice, and it's ornate. Check out that one. That's yeah. Cool. And they're just having like lunches, and it looks like it shouldn't be happening because it's so quaint. I'm jealous. So pretty. So all through the town are these little lights that they hang up and so it'd be adorable at night. And it's just, it's really pretty here. It's really quaint, everything's small and close together. So we're gonna watch how cheese is made. We're in like one of a cheese factory. Most cheeses are made in factories. But apparently this place still does it the good old Holland way. Look at it, put cheese on things that I don't understand, but it's cheese-like. And there's cheese everywhere. And oh no, my battery's already starting to die. Boo. The cheese. Yeah. So Brian wanted to be the assistant today. And so I threw him under the bus and pointed to him. So Brian's the cheese existed. I love it. So she just gave him a slice of cheese. 
So, what kind of cheese is it? You want to try it? Yeah. Okay, so, let's get a little bit of it. How romantic. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Ooh, that's Gouda. <laughs> so. That's really tasty. So this is like a brine wash, and then they age the cheese. This is cheese aging. It's oh. fascinating. <laughs> These are our friends. <laughs> this is a rock show on some boats, and everyone's just watching from the harbor. That's awesome! Holland's so cool! It's the board. And we're looking for food. It's the boardwalk. And it's completely full. <laughs> so we're probably not even gonna make it back to our boat on time. So just walking it. So I'm ordering fish and chips from this little stand and I'm uh, excited for it. So fish and chips on the harbor in a bay in the Netherlands or Holland or Dutchland is I made that last one up. Pretty, pretty good day. So we are leaving so the harbor and we're going somewhere to go do something. Just some local children, just, they keep waving at everyone and they are adorable. This whole town is really, really cute. It's an old fishing town and everything. Uh, they have known for their wooden buildings everywhere. So this is where a shoemaker lives. Oh, I found Brian. And he's making Holland wooden shoes, all different sizes. And he's actually wearing them. And he just got some wood outside. And look at all the shoes curing on the ceiling. This is really, really nifty. So, what a find! Cool. So the real ornate clogs are wedding shoes, and that's kind of cool. And they used to put them outside the house at night, because uh, the fishermen would carve them, and they put them outside the house of the girl he was trying to propose to. And then come back the next day, and if they were taken inside, the proposal was accepted. And right above them is a smuggler's shoe. And what makes this one different is this is the front of the shoe, but that's a heel, and that looks like the front. So when they were walking to and fro across the borders, it would look like they were always headed in the other direction. So that's the smuggler shoe, and that's kind of really cool too. It's a shoe tree. And then it's a duck pond! Ah! Yeah. These are pretty cool, like the pattern. They are, they're really pretty, they're like the feathers. Mm -hmm. Pretty duck feathers. So here are the famous Holland windmills. And why are they so many? Why is Holland known for it? It's because most of Holland is actually underwater. That's why they call it the Netherlands. It means under land, meaning underwater. And so the big famous windmills pump out all the water. And it actually pumps it so there's uh, land and two thirds of the country is actually reclaimed from uh, lakes and marshes. And they also ground chocolate, so this entire area right now is actually, there's a chocolate factory that took up in the spot, and so it smells like chocolate, and it is a wonderful smell as we walk through this old town that used to be ran by windmills. Fantastic! Hey gang, so we're walking around downtown, and we went to the Chinese section, and we found a great little Thai place that we think we're gonna try. It's called the Thai Little Prince, or the Little Thai Prince. And just, Probably gonna go on our city, uh, the canal tour right after we go eat. So let's go get some food. So I got a spicy curry with chicken. And Brian got squid and bamboo shoots and other things. And it is delicious. Really a phenomenal choice. So we are on the sea cruise and we're cruising through the canal. That is the largest Chinese or floating restaurant and it's a Chinese restaurant. Any of them. But we're just on the canal going up and down all the little canals. No. So you see the white balcony? That is the smallest house in Amsterdam and that is five feet wide. That white balcony is a whole house. So we 
ended our night. We're grabbing a beer. We're gonna head back to the hostel after. Smoking my pipe as always to enjoy myself. And uh, thanks for coming along today. Tomorrow we're gonna tour around a little and then figure out what the next stop on our train is. So thanks for coming with. Stay along. Check me out next tomorrow. Hey gang, so we're walking around. Ugh.